So the jailbreak update releases on Saturday night, if you know it's uh, the same as usual. And as seen on Bad CC release, another thing that is coming to the next update just now, alright? So, uh, you know, in the past few days, we've uh, learned about a few things, right? One of the things inside of uh, the uh, update is the fact that we have ourselves a new Blade vehicle coming, alright? You know... Since, I believe, about a month ago, we uh, lost our, uh, you know, uh, brother Blade here, right? Blade is gone, and uh, it's uh, yet to be replaced by anything, all right? The thing is, you know, it used to be a metal wall here, now it's opened up, and it's just been like this since, like, a month now. So, what could possibly be coming to replace the blade? Well, you can see over here that uh, on Monday, a Simo and Bad CC leaked the drone. And it looks something like this. It's like, you know, one of those uh, flying car helicopter thingamajiggies. And it looks uh, like basically the blade body, but without the uh, spoky wheel things. And, you know, has propellers on the back. So basically, it's a flying car. And it's going to fly like how the uh, blade flew, all right? It's going to, you know, just hover a little bit above the ground and go pretty darn fast. Probably fast enough to get yourself 6,000 cash from power plant robbery. So, yeah, that's why I'm really looking forward to that vehicle, alright? And, you know, it's just like, been a while since I robbed power plant with the, uh, crazy 6,000 cash I used to get from Blade. So, we have ourselves the, uh, new Blade replacement vehicle. That one's obviously a million cash. So, I know everyone got refunded for the, uh, Blade. So, that means, you know, people should have the 1 million cash. But not everyone actually does, because the M12 Moto Unlimited, and whenever the Blade got uh, yeeted, a lot of people spent the uh, Blade money on the M12 Molten. So, that means they only have like 400,000 cash left, okay? So, they would still have to, you know, grind 600k for the Blade. Or the drone, I should say, alright? Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna call it the Blade 2.0, just because, you know, Blade is what it replaced, alright? So... Yeah, that's uh, gonna be the new Blade vehicle for you, okay? So the next thing that's coming here, right? If we go back over here and, you know, check down, they are going to be releasing a new gun, like, equip menu, all right? So you know a lot of other games. There's, like, a way to equip and unequip the guns. In Jailbreak, you can only equip stuff, you can't really, you know, take it away. So finally, we're having the ability to remove stuff from our inventory if we, like, misclick it or something. And, you know, we also can, like, just go to the gun store and get every gun. All right, I'm assuming it's going to be like that. Judging because, like, you know, I see Flintlock and a whole bunch of other non-gun store guns over here. Like, the revolver and, uh, I think the rifle is not there. Because the rifle is not the AK rifle. It's different. So, yeah, this gun thing is definitely something new here, okay? It's going to be absolutely wonderful and, uh, it's going to make it so that there's going to be, like, one or two central locations for the guns instead of, you know, scattering the guns everywhere. And it's going to just make the gun stores ever so more important to the game. That means a lot more police officers probably going to camp gun store as well, all right? But who knows, right? We'll have to see whenever the update fully comes out. And I also hinted at the video covering that, you know, that it might actually come with the ability to buy key cards. Because if you take a look here, the weapons can cost money, like 10,000 cash. So... Yeah, who knows? Maybe we can buy key cards in the future, which is gonna be absolutely sick. Now, I know you guys are all probably here for the latest and greatest uh, jailbreak update information. Before we get into that, though, make sure you guys check out the link in the description down below and get a bacon air plushie over here, salad air plushie as well. Check them out, link in the description down below or also in the upper right hand corner. And uh, yeah, there's a bundle deal on sale. Go get one. So, we are getting ourselves a new blade vehicle, we're also getting ourselves the new guns. And then finally, we are getting ourselves a new boxer convertible. Alright, 65,000 cash. Kind of wish it was a 4,420 more cash. You know, maybe a little bit more expensive. That's still less than a jewelry robbery. And it'll be the ultra meme number. Alright, 69,420 cash on this card, please, Asimo. Like, you, you gotta do it. it you're, you're missing your chance, all right? You, you have to make this car 69,420 cash. You just can't be otherwise, all right? Just, like, no, all right? You have to make it absolutely, like, amazing meme tier. Then I'll buy it, okay? How about that, all right? So it's probably gonna spawn over here because this duck car over here is gonna get yeeted, all right? It's a really old design, super clunky, super slow, costs, like, 70,000, been in the game for a real long time. And it's about time it goes goodbye, alright? 
So if you guys uh, are watching right now and you want the duck car for some whatever reason, might as well buy it. It's 70,000 cash and you can easily make that back in like 20 minutes or less. So, uh, yeah, you can get yourself a duck car today if you, uh, you know, want your last chance to get it. So this car looks something along the lines of this, right? I don't know how they got it up on the crane, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Massimo must be a professional driver there, okay? It looks absolutely sick, kind of like, you know, gives off some Tesla vibes, and, uh, yeah, it just looks, yeah, the back over here definitely looks like a roadster or something like that, the rear side. And yeah, I think those are like all the pictures of the car here. It's 65,000 cash. Please, 69,420 cash, please. I think it's gonna be slightly faster than this duck car, all right? This duck car is just, uh, interesting, okay? We, we need a car that's actually, like, decent at the museum. For those of the people without the uh, mobile garage. But we'll only know how fast the vehicle really is in the speed test I'm gonna do after the update, all right? My prediction is it's going to be slower than Lambo, but faster than, like, a Tesla. Actually, faster than Tesla is quite a, like, a hard thing to beat, because Teslas are ridiculously OP in this game. Maybe Cybertruck speed, alright? If it's equivalent to Cybertruck speed, then it'll be a pretty good deal. If it is slower than the Cybertruck, then don't even bother, okay? But the only way we'll know is with the speed test after the update. So make sure you guys are like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss the speed test when the update comes out. And yeah, use star code BANKIN when you buy Robux or Premium. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, which vehicle is this car in real life is it based off of? Hmm, I wonder that too, alright? I know that, like, the previous uh, duck car over here was based off some Porsche convertible. That's all we know, alright? It's been, like, three years. So, if you guys didn't know that, well, there's, like, something new for you right there. Okay, this, uh, orange, uh, Porsche over here is, uh... Yeah, it's basically a Porsche convertible. I believe it's a Porsche 911 Turbo. So, looking at a Porsche 911 Turbo 2021 model reveals this vehicle. And if you come over here and take a look very closely, all right, let me see if I can get a good view. Or right, here's the back view of it, all right? Let me see if I can get a back view. Oh, whoa, look at that. This is really close. Okay, it is really stinking close to this. So right, you can see, yeah, this one looks better. The uh, line over here, all right, boom. And it just corresponds with the thing over there. And you take a look at the front view, okay? Let's take a look over here. We have the thing at the bottom, the thing at the side, and then the thing at the rear. And you see over here, we got the thing in the middle, the thing at the side, and the thing in the rear. It is 100% confirmed. And like, look at the wheels. The wheels. If these wheels are not like the same thing, I don't know what is, all right? Because like this wheel and this wheel are basically identical. All right, like, this is 100% that vehicle there, okay? It's a Porsche 911 Turbo 2021 model, in case you guys are wondering. Now, what about the, uh, real-life version of this? All right, Asimo, I believe, said it's like a fantasy vehicle. So, looking at Asimo's Twitter, we also noticed that he's been working on some new, cool-looking skins over here. This is being tested on an M12 Molten. That means in a few updates, we could also be getting ourselves some, uh, skins there, okay? And there's, like, so much stuff here go back to the top there's a lot of stuff being done behind the scenes as well so we're getting like some new gooey stuff we're getting some game pass tweaks as well what could that mean right could that mean like some balancing with a mobile garage who knows i really hope that the range on the mobile garage you know spawn thing is reduced because right now it's way too big all right like sure we need it though but like it's way 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 way, way too big right now Make that thing a little bit smaller and we should be good. Okay, and also fix this random like freeze issue with the cargo plane. Speaking of cargo plane, we kind of need the cargo plane to be buffed. Otherwise, it's going to be a lame robbery. I don't think anyone wants a lame robbery, man, because uh, nobody robs it anymore because Joy Store gets the same amount of money. Or make this thing like, what, 7,000, 7,500 at the uh, base and then like 9,000 at the top. And you guarantee you people are going to come rob this thing, right? Whenever it's like beats the museum in the boat, Dude, everyone's gonna come rob it. So, I think that is basically, like, everything I have for this update, alright? We're getting ourselves the new, uh, blade replacement vehicle. We're getting ourselves a new gun menu. And that's gonna consolidate all the guns together. Alright, the blade vehicle, I hope it has a rope on it as well. Because, uh, then we can actually rob boat with it. I don't know how useful it would actually be robbing boat. But I just wanted to have a rope so that people can't tell it away. I hate it when people tell it away my blade. It was annoying. Please don't do it. Alright, I know everyone's gonna do, do it anyway, but like, yeah, that's why we need to rope on that vehicle. So that people don't just, you know, yeet it away from you. Then we have ourselves the new, uh, gun stuff, which is going to make, instead of the E-circle over here, which gets really finicky, especially like in the corner here. 
It's just gonna walk in here and like a menu is gonna pop up. And I kind of like the menu a lot more than I do E-Circles. Okay, E-Circles, yeah, no. Alright, it gets uh, really messy real quick. And then finally, we're getting ourselves the new Porsche Boxer Convertible. Which is based off a 911 Turbo 2021 model. And it looks ridiculously wonderful. Everybody right now, tell us you want to make the cash on that thing. 69420 money because we have to. There's no reason he should miss the opportunity to make like an ultimate meme car. Because like everyone's going to know this car costs 69420 cash, man. We need to do it. I'm going to message the Simo right now and you should too, all right? So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys press like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite thing about this update is. Use star code BACON when you buy Robux or Premium. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you